Matthew chapter 13 verses 54 to 58, the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. Coming to his hometown, he began teaching the people in their synagogue and they were amazed. Where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers, they asked? Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon and Judas? Aren't all his sisters with us? Where then did the man get all these things? And they took offence at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honour, except in his own town and in his own home. And he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. Have you ever gone back and, and visited somewhere where you used to live, where you used to go to school? I've come back to, uh, to our friend's house in Norwich. Uh, the, the things I do for you guys, you know, I've travelled all the way to North. No, we were going to come anyway. But anyway, as I was driving through the city, you notice, um, and it's only been two and a half years since we lived here, but you notice the things have changed. I mean, obviously Wilco's closed down, that happened recently. Um, every now and then you drive past a building and you go, that's, that's, that looks different. And you realise they've had an extension. Um, or there was one place, there was one place uh, that was like a desolate area. It was like, uh, I don't even know what it was beforehand, but they've knocked it down. They've built this giant building. I don't know what the building is. The place looks different. It's a different place. And this is a story about Jesus going back to his hometown of Nazareth. And Nazareth um, had a bit of a reputation. In John 1, 46, you hear the phrase, the famous phrase, what good can come from Nazareth? And um, the people of Nazareth, they lived in an area that was high manual labor and low life expectancy. And it's almost like, you can tell that here, it was almost like that weighed on them. These people, when Jesus spoke, they were amazed by what he said. Amazed for two reasons. And the first reason was that what Jesus was saying was amazing. But the second was, he comes from here. But, but we know his family. Why is he so different? He's not from around here anymore. Isn't he... Isn't this Jesus? Isn't he the son of the carpenter? Well, that suggests that his father sadly may have passed away. Life expectancy in areas such as Nazareth was really low. And he doesn't get mentioned. It says that carpenter's son, the son of Mary. You know, that means maybe Joseph's no longer with us. And that tells you something about the area of Nazareth as well. But they were saying, this son of Mary, we, we know his brothers, we know his sisters. This Jesus is not like them. He's changed. He says in verse 57, they took offence at him. And the word we sort of translate as offence into English is the word scandalizo in Greek. And it literally, it's where we get the word scandalised from. They were scandalised by, by this idea that this local lad has got ideas above his station. He's got a bit upmarket, he's looking down on us. But Jesus only had love for them. Their view of themselves and their position had made their eyes dull to who was stood in front of them, made their eyes, their ears dull to the message he had, made their hearts hardened. They couldn't see what was in front of them due to what had been said over them. And the fact that they were talked down to, they were looked down on, as we see in John 1, what good can come out of Nazareth? They, well, this had all seeped into their belief in themselves. And Jesus acknowledges that, you know, they've become hardened to this message. They blocked him out. They rejected him. His own people rejected him because he didn't fit their view of someone who comes from Nazareth. So Jesus rejected. He chooses not to perform the miracles here because the people were not in the right frame of mind to receive them. Their faith was little. They were impressed by this message, but impressed in a way it's like, oh my word, someone around here, they don't speak like this. A preacher, we don't have preachers around here. We are working folk. 
their ears, their eyes, their heart, they were not in the place to receive the message. And it meant that Jesus didn't perform the miracles there that he performed elsewhere. Come on. And this is, it's quite a sad and dark passage because Jesus' own people reject him. The people from his own town reject him. But it gets darker and sadder still in the next passage. But that's for another time. So what can we learn from this passage? Well, let Jesus in, no matter of your origin. Jesus does amazing things with people from very, very humble backgrounds. But in this case, these folks simply cannot see it. Now, I was born to a gardener, my dad and my mum was a nurse. And um, she, was, uh, she was battling with a disability when I was younger. And we had no money at all. But yet we lived in rural Cambridgeshire, which was quite upmarket, quite posh. And I was teased because of my family's supposed poverty. Uh, it was really hard living in a really wealthy area and not being wealthy. But I need to make sure that I look past my supposedly humble background. I need to make sure that, you know, I don't sit there and think that people are above my station or others are below my station. This whole class system, uh, I really struggle with it. I need to make sure that I don't let that become a blockage to what God wants to do with me or for others in similar situations or, you know, also from lofty situations or lowly ones. Every time I head home, back to Cambridgeshire, they're a little reminder that people really spoke down to me at school. And um, there are moments that I love, that I remember, but there's also moments that are really, really sad as well. We've got to make sure that we don't let our background get in the way of our future. Jesus won't, if we won't. Whether that's a position of humility or a position of privilege. What's most important is not where we came from, but who we are journeying with. The people of Nazareth missed out on Jesus because they missed who they were with, who they were in the presence of.